Hey everybody, this is Darius Bailey, uh, your local Realtor, United States Marine Corps veteran. Uh, I service primarily the metro Atlanta area. Um, most of my clients know me as the agent that answers. The reason being is because I find it very important that as an agent, I'm always available to answer my client's phone call. Um, I felt the need to do this quick vlog because I'm confronted with a lot of clients or prospects or leads. Um, that don't know or actually aren't aware that they qualify for a home. The reason I, I know this is because I work with a lender who um, I'll speak with the client or the prospect and subsequently we get those same people approved. And it's unfortunate that there are quite a few people out there that don't believe that they qualify for a home. All right, um, the reason again I want to do this video because I want to give a few tips uh, to prepare those people who are, you know, truly desire to purchase a home, how to get them prepared to actually uh, to become homeowners, to jump into that realm of home ownership. Um, on another vlog, I will go into why home home ownership is so important. But in this vlog, I want to I'm going to assume that um, everyone finds a value in owning a home. I know that I do. Uh, tip number one: actually preparing yourself credit wise to purchase a home is to know your credit score. Uh, there are quite a few um, apps out there, um, companies that allow you to monitor your credit score uh, for free without a credit card. And I actually do recommend subscribing to one of those services that offer the free credit monitoring service. All right, credit, knowing your credit score allows you to take proactive steps into improving your credit. Uh, let's say you have collections, you have delinquent accounts. Um, knowing, knowing what those are helps you knowing where you want to be. Um, ideally, you want an 800 plus credit score. However, um, owning a home does not require an 800 or 750 credit score. It helps interest rates, but um, it's, it's, it's not absolutely necessary. Okay, after pulling your credit, I recommend, you know, getting those negatives taken care of. You want to, you know, ideally you want to make sure that you don't have any collections. Uh, you want to make sure that you aren't behind on any accounts. That's the first, first step. You want to clean up all the, the negative stuff. Okay, uh, for those who don't have credit, who don't have credit, um, Establish a little credit. Uh, you, let's say you're 18 years old, or you're starting fresh after bankruptcy. Uh, anything you know, you want to start fresh by building credit. You know, obtain a uh, secure credit card. A uh, few months of obtaining, of, of I'm sorry, a few months of positive credit history with a secure credit card will drastically increase your credit score over a few months. And when I say uh, maintaining that credit card, I mean spending, but making sure you either pay that credit card in full or not going above a 40, 40 to 45% ratio. For example, if you have a credit, if you have a credit card with a secure balance of 500, you never want to go above 200, um, 175 to 250 threshold. Okay, reason is because when creditors, when they look at your credit card, they want to see that you're not surviving off of that credit card, but yet you're, you're maintaining a healthy credit, um, credit profile as it relates to that credit card. So if you have a, again, if you have a credit card uh, with a 500 hypothetical credit score, you want to stay at about 250 and below, okay? So about 40, 45%. Okay, getting a credit card. Uh, after you've got a credit card, try to get some type of installment account, whether it be a piece of furniture, financed, whether it be a uh, student loan. I'm not recommending going out and getting student loans because my philosophy on student loans is something I'm not going to go into right now. Uh, an auto loan. Open up an account and make sure you maintain um, 
ongoing payments, on-time payments. Okay, um, another thing about your credit score, it's a very tricky system that no one fully knows the details other than the, uh, the credit bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and uh, Experian. Uh, the, the algorithm for, you know, calculating your credit score is something mysterious. So, but what I can do is basically give you tips on how you can beat those systems and also um, just play their game, basically. Um, guys, uh, that's that's pretty much it. Maintaining a good credit profile. Um, you want to also credit inquiries. Qu credit inquiries stay on your credit report for about two years. However, after the first year, a credit inquiry holds very little weight. It or actually, it, its weight diminishes. Okay, so um, about two or three would be considered healthy. Anything above that will be. Um, considered not good okay um, so make sure you know you're not out there pulling credit furniture um, you know small things that really won't benefit your lifestyle um, a lot of people believe that you know when you're shopping for a house or if you're shopping for an automobile or a big ticket purchase that you know it's gonna hurt your credit score but that is a myth okay um, credit bureaus they know that when you're shopping for a big ticket item that you are shopping you want the best interest rate um, in the long run so in essence when you're shopping for a big ticket item in a short period of time that, that those credit inquiries um, don't drop your credit score as much as you would like to believe okay so if you're shopping for a home I'm going to go to a few banks and make sure that I'm, I'm getting the best credit score All right. And uh, again, credit bureaus, they give you a little leeway with that without drastically impacting your credit score. All right. Um, I know that there are a few things that I've missed, but these are some of the common items that you want to address when, as it relates to your credit score when you're actually planning to purchase a home or any big ticket item for that matter. But because I'm a real estate agent, I'm focusing mainly on purchasing a home, some of the items that you want to address when purchasing a home. All right? um, and of course, outside of you know, the whole credit building, you want to, to save, make sure you're saving. Uh, make that your primary goal is to make sure that you have cash saved up before you get in, jump into home ownership. All right, guys. Again, uh, these, these are not all the items. Uh, these aren't all the things that you will need to do to make sure you maintain a healthy credit score in buying home. However, these are some of the more important items that you want to address when purchasing a home. And uh, a lot of people ask me also, what is a credit score? What does it take to buy a home? Um, it depends on the bank, but from my experience, you can purchase a home anywhere between 640 and 650. So if you have a 640, 650, you may want to, you know, consider purchasing a home, purchasing a home, and um, not renting for the rest of your life. All right, there's so many advantages of actually owning a home that you may not be aware of. Okay, but just trust me as a professional that there are advantages. There are a lot. There are great advantages of owning a home. Okay, and I actively, I I recommend that you actively pursue home ownership. So again, guys, without taking up too much of your time, I thank you again for watching this vlog. And I ask that you subscribe. Okay, please subscribe for more great content. Um, if you're in Georgia or metro Atlanta area and you want to find more information on home ownership, um, how the market is, what is, you know, how can you go and get started with purchasing a home, or you want to just see what inventory is right now. Uh, I ask that you give me a call. My number is 404-843-2500. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Darius Bailey, the agent that answers. You guys have a great night.